puts over it and he well <laughs> Peter here and I got a package so let's go ahead and open it and see what it is. Yep, I finally ordered a plus two and a plus two active pack so that I can do some development work with the plus two and the gauntlet and the small vision stuff. Uh, not just uh, desktop, but also get things working with a uh, standalone headset. So I know the Quest 3 is coming out later this year, but uh, I'm going to be attending AWE this coming uh, Friday and then also Linus Tech Tips Expo LTX towards the end of July and so I need to make demos. I don't know how much of a demo I'll be able to make before this coming Friday, but you know, at least the coming one for LTX would be good. So yeah, I got the uh, headset here with just the basic strap. Seems to fit all right. What would we got here? It's like some sort of uh, rubber interface uh, possibly put over the, uh, the foam here. Uh, let's see here. No liquid cleansers. So. I guess we're going to be sticking to uh, cloth, like a nano fabric thick cloth for cleaning the lenses. That's good. So we have some sort of uh, plastic interface that they're showing. I guess I'd be putting this silicone type sock on here. Ah, oh, no, no, no. This is a glasses spacer. Okay, that's good to know. That's the spacer. Uh, yeah, so you pop out the current fabric, you put this, and then you put the kind of fabric y uh, facial interface back in. That's good. Okay, put some of this stuff back. Okay. Move the lenses left to right to find clearest view. Okay, good. So I can do some interpupillary type stuff. Um, left and right. Oh, is this sticker supposed to stay on? Dang it. So that's the right controller. Left controller. All good. Showing us to pull some sort of tab out of the base of the controllers. Let's do that. Presuming that uh, connects whatever batteries are in there. Now I'm not sure. Okay, so they're not rechargeable batteries. So that's similar to the uh, Rift CV1 that I already have. Yep, yep. Okay. MetaQuest 2. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like we have some user manuals with, or user ish manuals with uh this one's the quick start so that's probably all we want to go with but it's in uh like japanese and a few other languages 
So we want to pull out the tabs. We want to push the power button for two seconds on the side of the headset. I hope that did what it was supposed to. Either that or that wasn't the power button. No, that's what it shows in here. Oh, wait, I see something. Yep, I can see the Oculus logo. Oh, it looks like it's supposed to maybe unwrap this. Yeah, okay. That's unwrapped. And then, yeah, they show like tightening the straps and doing some lens adjustment if need be. And then, yeah, don't put it in the sun. So, uh, funny enough, like I had actually gotten a dev kit one back in the day of the Rift, and I I didn't back the Kickstarter, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have gotten a CV one headset for free. Uh, but I had um, kind of right immediately after the Kickstarter for the Rift, uh, like the month after, uh, when I had did a pre-order. And then when I got it, I was so excited that I took the, uh, the Rift to my university's um, kind of activities fair. And that year the activities fair was outside. Uh, but uh, I quickly found out that you don't want to have a headset outside facing up like this when people aren't using it because the sun comes in and damages the screen. Uh, so I found out the hard way. I probably should have requested maybe a replacement uh, dev kit one because they didn't have, you know, uh, didn't have warnings at the time. Uh, they soon thereafter did, but uh, yeah, no, I didn't. So I, I just kind of used it as is with little white spots on the center of the screen. And then later on, uh, uh, the university's game developer club got that quest, sorry, uh, Rift 2, which we used for a while, and then later on when the consumer version came out, I'd use my brother's one from time to time and eventually got my own CV1 Rift. Um, and now I'm jumping all the way to Quest 2. <laughs> Skipping over Rift S and uh, uh, Quest 1. Though, I think I've tried the Quest 1, um, I'm not sure if I've tried Rift S, uh, but I've you know tried some other headsets too. Anyways, that's kind of getting off on the tangent. So I think we're good to go ahead and put this on and see if the straps are any good. Oh yep, yeah, looks pretty good to me. Okay. So yep, English. Yep. Clarity looks good. Yep, I see I can adjust line spacing as needed. And yep, it wants me to set up Wi-Fi, which I can do. Anyways, I won't make y'all uh, suffer too much longer through me uh, doing this because this is just supposed to be kind of an unboxing video. But I am uh, definitely happy with what I'm seeing so far. So, yep, I can see it's kind of going into some of the intro stuff, design for ages 13 and up. Um, yeah, safe surroundings, etc., etc. So once this uh, quick little intro video ends, I'll go ahead and cut it here. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And um, yep, look forward to seeing some of you at AWE uh, next Friday. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and come over and cut the video.
So thanks for watching everybody. Again, Peter uh, Sassman, uh, also known as Red Slash Ace. Uh, catch y'all later.